<laughs> the classic murder suicide, right, Yuki? Oh, is this where we left off? I don't know if this is where we left off. Hold on, I'll know for sure when I check this room over here. If this room looks modern, we're good. If it looks all creepy and old, we're bad. Oh yeah, okay, this is modern. So yeah, this is where we left off. All right, so we're pretty much just looking around the house. Crap. All right, there's still ghost stuff happening. We're looking around the house, just trying to um, find the start of the next chapter. Oh, that Easter egg. That was really funny. Um, the hot cocoa. That's right. Yeah, somebody was saying Lucy was even scarier. Honestly, I can't imagine this game getting much scarier than that chapter. But I'm excited to see. Now, when we were playing before, we never found any item that seemed like it would start the next chapter. So I'm not really sure what to look for. Okay, our character's going a little nuts. Let's uh, grab these pills. Let's take one of these. Ah, much better. Hey, Maddie, how you doing, Maddie? Good to see you, dude. This room is so dark. Oh yeah, that vent. I think that's probably not where we start a chapter. It could be, but I bet we'll have to go through there once we start one of the next chapters. <laughs> Poor Legend, the anti-spoopy foundation. What's the scariest game you've ever played, Legend? I'm curious. It's really dark. That light didn't help at all. <laughs> oh, wow. So some of the things that we did earlier are still here. I was thinking like it was going to reset the house back to before. Do we have sanity pills in real life? Well, technically, Georgia, there are kind of like sanity pills out there, but they typically need a prescription. I can't help you with that. Yeah, see, we used to have a garage door. Oh, here we go. Let's say, why is this locked now? We've been in here before. But the house is kind of a different layout now. Is that right? I'm not sure. Yeah, so something's going to be different. There's going to be some other item we have to grab that's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to grab this? You're going to start the next chapter. I just don't know where that's going to be. But I'd like to start the Lucy chapter. I guess you would think most of the items would be near the beginning. <laughs> Xanax, right? Phantasma, pretty much. Until Dawn was probably your scariest Phantasma. And I think the scariest one you played was an old PS3 game a while back, but you don't remember the name. You're just like, nope, I'm out of here. A strange frame. Yeah, there's, there's kind of a picture on there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, we can keep it. It didn't start a chapter, but we can keep it. Until Dawn was a really good game. I, I, I need to stream it at some point. I've already played it, but... I think it's something I do have to stream. Because those games, they're just so much fun to share with others. And honestly, I've only played through it once. So there's so many other, I guess, variations I can run into. My hands are full. Wait, can I put some stuff away? Let's see. There we go. Oh. I don't think I can actually call anyone. I can grab this, but I can't call anyone. But we can look at the phone numbers. That could be important later on. There might be some mission for that. And you started streaming Until Dawn, and you need to get back into it. Uh, you did the trial of Man and Medan, which I want to get. We streamed Man and Medan. I enjoyed it. I think I liked Until Dawn a bit better, but if you like that kind of game, it's all good. Yeah, I remember they. she said she should call her neighbor. I wasn't able to figure that out. Now, this is where that Dolores chapter started. I remember we grabbed a key, we went in that room, and that's when everything went crazy. Okay, that goes back down to the garage. Hmm. 
You know, you would think they would be right around here in the intro area where you get the items. Oh, this is new. I don't remember seeing this here. Maybe that was always there. Gosh, there's so many random items. You just don't know what's going to pick it off. And the game doesn't have any kind of journal system. Any kind of hints, really. Still nothing on TV. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Show me a sign, game. <laughs> Show me a sign. Getting phasmophobia vibes. Luther's going to haunt you in this game. Don't say that. Oh, we got some more pills. Nice. I'm never sure how dark of an area we can handle before we start losing sanity. Oh, and I always forget to ask, how's the audio levels, guys? I think it's where we left it last time, so hopefully it's pretty good. Oh, you're playing it tonight? Uh, have you ever played it before, Georgia? It's such a cool game. Janky as all heck, but uh, it's a cool game. Now, in this bathroom, in the other world, there was like a weird hole you can drop down to. Oh, the audio's good. Thanks. Just realized John has a big head. I mean, I'm almost all head that you guys can see. All right. I already looked all over here. I wonder what this looks like now. Let us... We actually haven't started a chapter yet, Let us. I'm looking for whatever I need to start the... Um, I think we want to do the Lucy chapter next. But we're just kind of exploring the house in the, I guess, quote-unquote real world before a chapter starts. Oh, this still goes down to this room where you can shoot yourself. That's right. Nope, we're going out of there. <laughs> Forgot all about that. You played it like twice, but it was like 30 minutes altogether. So you haven't played it fully and you kept dying. It's such a neat game, Georgia. And if you have the chance, I recommend you also try it in VR. It's it's something else in VR. All your friends will really hear you scream then. Oops, I did not mean to eat that pill. Let me put this away before I take all the pills. Yeah, like, there's so many items you can grab. Hmm. I assumed there would be a key that I need to grab, but maybe not. There we go. Got a little bit more light. I think I do, Hasifa. Just to kind of get some direction, you know? Because it's it's weird knowing that I've, like, explored the entire house, but it was in a kind of a different reality, so to speak. Oh, it is upstairs? Okay. Let me get back over there, then. Even when we're not currently being haunted by a ghost, it's still such a creepy house. You know, it's silly, but I, I kind of remember how to get back better when it's the looping world. I feel a little bit more lost now that the world's not looping. You tried to Google how to start the Lucy chapter like, nope, I don't like these pictures. I'm out. Yeah, I mean, this game definitely gives phasmophobia vibes um there is some cool randomness with phasmophobia but this game for my money is a lot scarier but it's also a lot more deliberate being a single player game they can kind of tailor the experience um put the scares in very specific spots you know was this the right way no it's the other set of stairs i'm always going to get that confused Oh, definitely more polished. Yeah. This game was an early access for so long. 
Um, I've had it in my wish list for well over a year, but I'm always hesitant to buy early access games. Unless, like, maybe it's a survival game or something. I kind of want the full polished experience, you know? Okay, we made it back upstairs. Is it the hairdryer? It's not the hairdryer. Yeah, certain things in this area are different than they were before. Just like little things. You know, I bet it's in one of the kids' rooms. That's seriously how bright it can get in here. Is Lucy the kid? Hey, there we go. See, out of a million things to look for in the house, it's tough to know which one thing to grab. Oh, and you miss, I missed that message, Hussy, but it was in the children's bedroom. Um, taking this item will begin a chapter. You will not be able to begin a different chapter until you've completed this one. Oh, it doesn't even tell me which chapter it is, but I'm pretty sure this is Lucy, right? You said children's rooms? Yeah, it's got to be it. All right, accept. You found the drawing of a panda. This game isn't scary, guys. It's so nice and sweet. An insidious friend. <laughs> I love that word, insidious. Um, have you guys seen the movie, Insidious? It is seriously fantastic. I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's a pretty creepy movie. Okay, the game just saved, and the door just closed on me. What is that noise? Things are already happening. That door's jammed. Oh, we can get in the closet, though. This was not here before. Knock, knock. And on the other side of the wall, it's like Satan. Oh, I can hear knocking. If I click, it knocks. Who's there? No more knocks? Are you done playing, Mr. Demon? Oh, the door's open. We can leave. <laughs> Just an echo. Nothing Nothing going on. Oh, this is new. Yeah, it's really cool. The whole house just kind of changes when that happens. When you start a chapter, I guess. A weird black hand mark on this. So this is the parents' room. We've been in here a lot, but things could be different. There could be something new we need to find. Speaking of which, where's my lighter? I can hear it. But it's not doing anything. There we go. I could hear him turn on the lighter, but it wasn't on the screen. That's right, I forgot. That was always locked before, but this closet goes from the parents' room directly to the child's room. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything in there. I see a flickering light. It's probably trying to get my attention. I don't like the idea of a shared closet between rooms, personally. I would rather just take that closet, chop it in half, and make two smaller closets. Hello? Who is flashing the light? Is that as bright as it gets in here? I probably... What's going on? Oh, we could turn pages. Hold on, I can't even see that thing. Um, is there a candle? Or maybe I have to uh, fix a light bulb, actually. Maybe we need to fix a light bulb and then we can properly read that comic book. It might be important or it might just be cool. Oh no, Georgia. Are you in your office at work right now? It 
don't turn off that light. I could have sworn we were going to find something else there because of uh, a flashing light. Maybe I'm supposed to go up here. Maybe we're going back up to the attic. We do still have the tool to get up there. Because I do feel like that flashing light was trying to take me here. <laughs> You're physically leaning away from the computer. <laughs> That's awesome. Lucy. Or big scary thing on the other side of the wall. Where are you? Yeah, see, this is all stuff kind of more maybe specific to uh, George's story. I didn't see anything up there. Well, let's go downstairs. Actually, let's go in the study. I saw a light flashing in here, too. Somebody was having a lot of beers at work. No, nothing going on here. Oh, speaking of phasmophobia, um, Dingo... You're a little behind on the convo because of work, but you played it for the first time last weekend. Oh, and it was terrifying. Did you like it? Or was it a bad kind of terrifying? Because it's definitely not for everybody. But I but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, Lucy, how old are you? And then when you get sick of trying to get the ghost to appear in Phasmophobia, you just keep swearing. The TV's on. And it's not... Static. What are we watching, guys? Looks like a wedding. Wait, turn back on. It's broken. That's not good. Uh oh. And that that light's broken too. They're all broken. <laughs> we need some more light bulbs. Well, it's back on. Hey, wait a second. I know that room. That's the room with the other TV right next to the red record player. Is that where you want me to go game? Uh oh, the lighter's almost empty. Do I have any backup lighters? I have one more lighter after this crap. Okay, well let's start to go there. <laughs> so you need a video of the room you're in watching TV on that. That would be creepy, Hussy, but that'd mean there was a camera watching me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way we need to go, but I need to drop this and grab my other lighter, of which I only have one left. Yeah, I think I know how to get to that room. <laughs> That's a nope from me. A little of both. Oh, you were playing solo, Dingo. I've never really played it solo, except for that one time in VR with you guys, and I couldn't figure the game out. It just didn't make any sense. But I think it's a game that definitely plays best with others. Okay, this is the room that that was shown on the TV. Right in here. Here's someone. Sounds like it's coming from over here. What just happened? Oh, there's a camera. Camera's taking pictures. Oh, there's a picture of like a girl on the wall. You see that? That. Why is the music playing? Oh, am I supposed to use this? This is kind of cool. Kind of scary. <laughs> Now imagine Phasmophobia, but with the player as the ghost. See, they really need to do that, Hasifa. Allow a player to be the ghost. Okay, what's going on in this picture? It's hard to tell. It looks like a little girl getting a needle in her arm. You guys see that? Oh, wait, there's something on this wall, too. Oh, it's like a big arm coming by. Hey, MB, what's up, dude? Okay, let's follow this path. Oh, there it is. I think that's the creature or whatever. It 
looks like it goes this way. Yeah, there's something on this wall. Oh, I saw an arrow. Looks like there's an arrow pointing this way. No. No, game. I see something in the doorway. <laughs> we're we're going to pretend like we're doing something else. And it's going to go away. And we're going to keep on exploring with this camera. And it's still there. The hell do you want me to do, game? I have not watched the SCP fan-made films. What's, what's SCP again, Hasifa? Oh. The line is going towards it. It is a creepy game, MB. It seriously is. What is that? Oh crap, it's coming. Nope! You want your picture taken? Okay, bye. I'm gonna light this candle. Right, put that away. Close this. Close it. Light the candle. Put it down. Grab some brain pills. We're golden now, right? We're golden. Got my camera. Oh, there's a VHS tape here. Greed. Oh, this reminds me of like seven. Like the seven deadly sins. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, stay away, stay away. It's essentially like Men in Black trying to prevent mysteries from destroying the planet. Oh, that's a cool story, Hasifa. Yeah, I really enjoyed Men in Black. Just wants a hug. A hug forever. There's a lot of pills in here, but I'm out of space. But I'm going to hold on to these pills. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to go up here? In the previous chapter, I wasn't able to open this. Nope. Still says not a good time to explore. Okay. Maybe that's for the final chapter. Okay, so now that she's gone... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Relentless! I didn't see any things pop off. <laughs> I'm not late. You're early. <laughs> Relentless is always on time. <laughs> Relentlessly queer! How is it going? Thank you so much for the sub, Relentless. 18 months. Oh my gosh, that's like two Twitch babies. Let me drop some tokens for you guys. Thank you again, Relentless. And when we drop these tokens with your little avatars, if you just type in exclamation point jump, they'll try to jump up and grab it. The timing is always very tricky. You have to kind of know how much lag you have. But once you get that down, some people have gotten really good at catching these. <laughs> Thank you again, Relentless. How are you doing? Glad you can make it. You're right. I started way too early, Relentless. I apologize. <laughs> Actually, I was like two minutes late and there was like already three people in the chat giving me flack for it. It was great. <laughs> Yuki, you got one. Nice. All right. I think Okay, she's gone. Oh, there we go. There's some light. Much better. And Legend, you got the other two. Nice job, dude. Yeah, not just Twitch babies, Twitch twins. All right, I guess I'm just supposed to... What? What? Music? Oh! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Thanks, Lucy. Oh my gosh. She's disemboweling me. Okay, I actually think that was more brutal than getting shanked by Dolores. Um, I think I did a quick save more recently than that. Is this my latest quick save? Let's see, it's 551. Where's the autosave? I'm not sure where the autosave is. Yeah, this is probably it. Oh, you added what is SCP video? Oh, nice. So I can check it out. Thank you, Hasifa. 
Oh, poor Yuki literally just screamed. Oh. Yeah, I'm super dead. I'm deader than dead. I don't have any more insides. Oh no, this is older. Crap. Okay, we have to redo some stuff. I probably should have done the auto save. Now that I see when it last took my quick save. Because I came in here. Yeah, we have to redo a few things. Then the camera appears. We grab the camera. We're going to follow this stuff. First, let's stand in the light because we're kind of losing some sanity. <laughs> Bask in the glow of the television. And check the timestamps. They were under the pictures. You mean... Oh, that's right. Maybe I could do that. 551. This one is a little bit further. Here we go. Let's do this one. I think this one might be a better save. I don't have to redo so much. <laughs> I don't like her either, Georgia. It's really funny. In the previous chapter, the ghost was this old woman named Dolores. And she wanted us to help her out. She wanted her tea. She wanted us to bring her her child. <laughs> Creepy request. And um, yeah, even after all that, she was killing us. It's like, how are we supposed to help you if you're constantly killing us? Oh, did you get a good clip of that legend? Nice. <laughs> John scared you. I like that. Oh, there she is again. See ya. The music's playing because she's here. Still coming? I think we're okay. Okay, so can I quick save now? Yes. So we got to be going this way. The chalk, that wall chalk. I'm not sure what that is. Whatever it is, maybe it's crayon is leading us this way. That's right, Phantasma. She did stick us in that oven. And after we looked at it, I had no idea how we fit in that oven. I was kind of breaking the laws of physics. Wait, where's the line going? There it is. I can barely see it. Oh yeah, sorry. Warning to folks with any kind of epileptic, ep epileptic problems. This chapter is definitely not safe for you. This is such a cool, creepy effect. I think the first time I ever saw a movie do this was the original Saw. It had a really cool scene using a camera as a light. But not very good if you have epilepsy. It looks like it's taking us back upstairs. <laughs> Phantasma, I hate this. I hate this. I do like that lamp. We could, Yuki, but this could be done in like in the next minute or so. You know, I'm not sure how long we actually use this thing. It looks like it was taking us here. Oh, wait, is it upstairs? Oh, crap. It's going back up this way. This way. She's just crawling all over the walls. Oh, come on, game. You're going to open that up for me? Is it pretty much used the rest of the chapter? Then that's... Pr Thank you, Lettuce. <laughs> that is a good idea, then. Since we're going to be using this a lot, let's put a little epileptic warning in the title. That's probably not a tag on Twitch, unfortunately. That'd be kind of nice, actually. But, uh... I do. I, I have some personal friends that have epilepsy, so yeah, it's definitely something I don't want them to jump in here and run into. Crap, can I spell epilepsy and put a heart attack warning? <laughs> epilepsy? Is that right? Is it two L's or one L? I think it's one L. Let me Google it. <laughs> <laughs> or just, yeah, warning flashing lights. I like that. Heck, maybe you don't have epilepsy. You just hate flashing lights. Okay. Let me know if it updates. It might take a few seconds, but that should pop up. All right. This door just slowly opened for us.
Uh, I don't think it goes in there anymore. It, it stops like right there. So I don't think I need to use the camera right now. <laughs> Jerk ghost. Oh no, we don't have any light at all in here. There's another lighter. Oh, that wasn't here before. The door opened back for us. What if there's something down here? Nope. <laughs> gotta check. Just gotta check. Yeah, then it kind of works for multiple things, right, Dingo? Not only does it warn you about epilepsy, but if you just have problems with flashing lights, avoid it, right? Okay, Lucy likes to mess with us when we are right here with her. I want to knock, but I can't. Gabriel, how's it going, Gabriel? Long time no see, dude. Mm, what? <laughs> Darkness haunts you. Okay. The following is written on the blackboard. Darkness haunts you. Hi. <laughs> I was trying to leave and the door was jammed. I don't like Lucy. I don't like her at all. Yeah, she was right there, Georgia. It's quiet now, though. It's nice and quiet. Is she trying to tell us to go in here? It looked like she ran in here, didn't she? Would you be in your parents' room? Parents might not want you in here, Lucy. Now she's not in there. <laughs> you miss Dolores now? Lucy definitely wants to mess with us. Oh, there's a red light down there. That's new. This is something different. That time you got so scared you couldn't scream and you ripped your headphones off your head shaking. Oh, poor Yuki. <laughs> Radio's going. Shut up. Nobody wants to listen to that. This can't be good. What the? What is this? We're outside? Guilt. This away. <laughs> All right, let's go. <sighs> Saving is disabled at the moment, darn it. I can't grab the bear. A poor phantasm. I'm so glad I watched this before bed. Yes, I I got to apologize ahead of time. If you have any vivid nightmares, I have heard on uh, forums and stuff. People do get some really weird visions from this game. Bad dreams. Daytime nightmares, you know, that kind of stuff. It sticks with you. This is a pretty area, though. Very different from the outside in the first chapter. That was just kind of like a neighborhood, you know? Although we did eventually get to like a... Is that a cemetery we went to? I'm not sure. There's like stuffed animals all over the place. It's like our house with dog toys. Are you not doing bad, Gabriel? I'm glad you are able to tune in and catch one of your streams. I know, it's good to see you again, man. What, what you been up to? What's new? Did Detroit give you some weird dreams? I could see that. I could see that happening. It's still 2.11 p.m. for you. Oh, where are you at, Georgia? Uh, curious, if you don't mind saying. But Phasmophobia, yeah, if you play that at night, that's going to mess up your sleep schedule anyway. He started having dreams of that grid, the android scene. Oh, that makes sense, Phantasma. I don't know if a piece of media, whether it's a movie or game or anything, has really given me dreams or changed my dreams um, I, I rarely have dreams that I remember 
Well, it's usually because I'm like overheated at night and I just have some bad dreams. I might remember those, but in general, I don't remember my dreams. Oh, there's a tree house over here. Oh, you're in Australia. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we have folks from all over the world here. We have people in Sweden. We have people in uh, the UK. We have people in Russia, um, all over the US, Canada. It's really cool. You get weird dreams all the time. I don't remember even the last dream that I can remember, to be honest. I don't think I've had one this year. I mean, I, I have them. I just don't remember them. Oh, I guess we can't climb. Oh, there we go. I wasn't clicking on the right spot. Hey, we got a story. I'm Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Oh, the TV talks to her. I want to be your friend, Lucy. Oh, that's the radio. Everything's talking to her. <gasps> then something comes out of the TV. Lucy's angry. Giant monsters on the treehouse. Oh, there's a bird, Pico. And some... Looks like the giant monster's absorbing her? I don't know. Friend did it. <laughs> oh no, I think something happened to the bird. And she's saying that this thing got the bird. Oh, we need a small key for this box. Okay. There's another radio here. I can't quite reach it to turn it on. I think it's just decorative. Oh, check all the backs. I looked at one back and I didn't see anything, so I assumed... Ah, see, I wouldn't have looked for that. Thank you, Lettuce. Yeah, I, I looked at one back and I'm like, mm, probably none of them have anything. But we should definitely check them all now. Clever hiding place, Lucy. <laughs> Fantasma, we know everything. Let's go. Scram. What does she have in here? Oh, more pictures. Oh, this is the picture we saw with her getting the needle. Oh, I think that was like a collectible. I'm with you, Lucy. Stay with me, Lucy. It's bad, Lucy. It has to go away. Don't tell anyone, Lucy. Me and you. I want to help you. Oh, it got really dark outside. It's not what it seems, Lucy. Your parents wouldn't understand. Only you can understand. Get rid of it. Do it. Do it. Get rid of it. What am I getting rid of? Oh! I didn't put those there. Oh! We're not going anywhere. Um. <laughs> what am I supposed to get rid of? I figure he's talking about the bird. I can't turn it off. I'm so stuck in here. Get me out of here. Oh no. Did I screw something up? Oh jeez. I might have not done something in time. Not sure. Skywalker, what's up, dude? We got some more spooky game time going on. Yeah, if I was playing this without all you guys, I would be even more creeped out. And it's still creepy even just as I'm playing it with you guys, with the lights on. Okay, that's way too dark. We're keeping that on. Oh no, look at this. She took out the the, uh, the light switch. That's not cool, Lucy. Oh my gosh, all the light switches are taken out. 
<laughs> what the heck? You've been busy with work and just life in general, Gabriel? So nothing out of the ordinary. I haven't checked out the new PS5 demo, Gabriel. I do want to, though. Um, I heard it's only about like 20 minutes. So I was thinking, ooh, should I make a whole stream for it? Probably not. Maybe like if we beat a game and we have a little bit of extra time, I would do that. I wonder, can I go in here now? I am excited, though, because I loved Resident Evil 7. You know, I'm feeling bad because I, I saw lighters back in that area, and I should have grabbed some when I had the chance. Oh, here's a lighter. Okay. So let's... um. Dang. There's, like, no lights at all in here. I'm going to drop some of these pills. Maybe I'll actually use some pills. Whoops. Now let's drop it. And now I can grab another lighter. Because I definitely need more lighters. Yeah, we're going to have to play something very happy, won't we? Phantasma. <laughs> something cheerful. There is another candle. Maybe I should grab a candle too. Maybe drop another thing of pills. I have a lot of pills. Luckily, when you drop an item, I think it stays there. Okay, I'm not trying to light it right now. I just want it in my inventory. Can't flip the breaker. But that must not be a problem in this chapter anyway. Oh, you know what? Maybe we are supposed to do something with the candle. Slowly walk with the candle. That's why they took away all our lights. Okay. Well, in that case, let's take this out. Let's light it. You have to move very slowly with the candle or you will extinguish it. Or something like that, Hasifa. Yeah, because like we'll have a lot of time and we don't have like a story or anything to get through, so that might be a good time to do that. Speaking of which, um, not this Saturday, which will be... Actually, this Saturday stream should be normal. Next Tuesday stream, I think is going to be normal, but that's actually my birthday. But Andy and I are going to celebrate... Oh man, this thing goes out really easily. Are going to celebrate um, my birthday on... See, this doesn't really work. You can't light it and then put this away, I don't think. Can you? There we go. Okay. <laughs> it worked, sort of. Um, but yeah, my birthday's on the 26th. So it's, it should be a normal streaming day for my birthday. But we're going to actually celebrate my birthday on that Sunday. And I'm taking that Monday off. For like the me and Andy stuff. Oh man, that's just too dark. Okay, back to this. <laughs> this is so dark. I think I did fix the camera lettuce. I did some research online, and I think the problem we were having was um, it was overheating. There's two things that could potentially cause overheating. One, the battery creates heat. We're not, well, I'm not using a battery, or having your screen flipped down like up against the camera that can contain the heat as well so I flipped my little screen out all the way which should help with that wish we could get out of here oh that's cool see some lightning in the background 26 is now in your calendar yes birthday stream it, it's really cool how at least this year it worked out where my birthday actually landed on a normal stream day I don't like this at all. I feel like I'm just burning all my candles or my uh, lighters just trying to get around here. Yeah, turning 26 on the... I wish, Relentless. I wish. Let's go with that, though. Let's let's go with that fiction. I enjoy it. Hey, we found a light bulb. I mean, do I even need light bulbs now? There's like <laughs> no electricity. Starting to slowly lose my sanity here.
You know what? Because those candles are so useless walking around, I should probably just put them all over here. There we go. So at least I can stand here for a little bit and try to gain some sanity. Oh, enjoy your lurk, Dingo. Thank you so much for hanging out. Ah, uh, to be 26 again. Now this time it says it seems to be working properly. See, this doesn't need one of these light switches to turn on. It's just a lamp. But apparently she destroyed that as well. Oh, that's cool. It still has the items we had from the previous chapter. Maybe we need to go upstairs again. Oh, that's what I wasn't looking at. Look at this. All of the electrical outlets that she ripped apart. Why'd you do it, Lucy? Why'd you do it? Wait a second. That doesn't normally go there, does it? Is this house changing on me again? Okay, looks like they're going upstairs now. Oh no, my lighter is almost out. I do have a backup lighter. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Oh, looks like it's there's some light in here. Let's go ahead and drop this lighter. I can see her. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, that was good. Very effective game. Now it's jammed, of course. But... I can get in there through the parents' room. <laughs> Poor legend, I fell out of my chair. <laughs> oh no, where'd my light go? I think I got it stuck on the wall. That was a pretty good jump, wasn't it? Okay, she was in here. I can hear her. Oh, the door just opened. But I don't see her anywhere. Oh, this is new. What is this? <gasps> Ooh. That's a cool effect. Gotta rip through this whole thing. There we go. Your sanity is decreasing fast. I know! <laughs> I know it is. My real life sanity is decreasing fast. Okay, stand under the light, John. Get some of that sanity back. Oh, Phantasma. So we, when we were poking our head in the door, we, I saw Lucy just sitting down on the floor playing with a toy. All of a sudden, something just slammed the door on us. It was not her. She was still turned around, but something else closed the door. And Katega, hey, good to see you, dude. Welcome back. So here's the birdcage, and she apparently killed the bird, Lucy did, and probably got in trouble, but the, the voices in her head told her to. Do it. Do it. A lot of birdcage. This is her guilt. That's why it said guilt. Okay, we need to eat some pills and fast. Gulp. <laughs> Slam that Xanax. Nothing in the drawers. Do I even bother checking all these? We have very limited time because of uh, the necessity of using this lighter. Where the heck are we? This is not a place we've ever been before. Oh, we found a light. Thank goodness. I'm going to stand here for a second. Hmm. I'm thinking I need to keep going this way, but it looks like it's a dead end. And turn your volume all the way up while you're at it. Well, my volume in my headset's pretty loud. I get, I get to control my volume separately from the volume that you guys hear. I could turn the stream game volume all the way up. <laughs> that would definitely make it creepier for you. But to help you guys, it would definitely make it scarier to have the lights all off, 
Turn on headphones or put on headphones. Oh, I see her. Put on headphones and crank the volume up. Just went this way. Am I supposed to be following her? No, I'm probably supposed to avoid her. Crap, crap, crap. I need the what key? <laughs> I need the cages room key. Oh, crap. Oh, no. See ya. Oh, I need that light. Oh, dang it. I wasn't sure, Georgia. Often I make very, very poor choices in life. Oh, she doesn't have a jaw, does she? I got a better look at her then. I don't think she has a jaw. Um, Yeah, I think that we're avoiding her in that area. I thought we were like she was leading us somewhere, you know? As often this game does. The autosave seems to be the best as far as timing. <laughs> Maybe avoid the creepy ghost girl. <laughs> oh, poor Nate. <laughs> I wonder what's going on the stream. Oh my god. <laughs> poor fantastic. I'm going to have to get like insurance just for my viewers and their health if I keep playing these kind of games. And Mick Squibby. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, dude. Okay. Uh, let's pop a pill, as we do. <laughs> Poor Skywalker, this game ain't for me. <laughs> Need something with uh, more action, a little bit chiller. Oh, Yuki. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait a second. That's twice. I have not seen any notifications. I think there's something going on here. Give me one second. Hmm. No, that thing's on. What's going on here? I thought maybe I accidentally hid the notification thing, but they're just not popping up. What if I try to replay it? Nothing. I could have sworn when we got a follow earlier that did... Oh, whoops. I accidentally clicked the pause alerts button. Usually you do that when there's like a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm not sure. Oh, that's your girlfriend, Yuki? Right on, Mick Squibby. Welcome to the stream. Any friend of Yuki is a friend of all of ours. How's it going? Now they're popping up. There we go. Thank you very much, Yuki, for that gift sub to Mick Squibby. That was very, very kind of you. She's protecting you. Ah, we need it. We need it a lot in this game. Thank you again, Yuki. I appreciate that. Yeah, can she protect me too? We need some more protection going on here. We drop some tokens for you guys. Thank you again, Yuki. I appreciate that. Okay, back to the heart attacks. So I just took my chill pill. Let's go back in here. We didn't make it too far. I got to look more for the um, lamps that the game puts around for me. Because uh, that gives me a little bit of an idea where to go. We did see a locked door. So that makes me think, actually, I need to open up every drawer and look for the key. Oh yeah, avatars are still on legend because there's a token floating about there. Okay, I already checked those drawers. Did I check these? Okay, nothing in there. If you were going to hide a key in a creepy cage room, where would you put it? And there? No, not there. So I guess I'm, this time I'm going to just very carefully listen for her voice. And once I start to hear it, get away from the noise. Let or Tajay, good catch, dude. Nope, not in there. So much of this looks the same. It's easy to get turned around in here. Oh, why did it get me again? I've already seen that. It's a good one, though. That's a nice picture. Okay, once you see that, now she's actively wandering around. Now I can hear her. Where is she? Is that her right there? I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. Crap, I don't see her. I don't know where she is. I, th I 
think I might have got away. The music's stopping. Music is always your indication about how much danger you're in at that current time. Oh, these drawers are phasing through that. Not in there. That's got to be it, though, right? I must just be missing a key. Or maybe there's a key in a cage. Could be hidden in a cage. That door looks just like the door that I came in, so I sometimes wonder if I just did a full 360. But I am finding more of these lamps that I have not turned on. That makes me think it's someplace new. Tier 3. See, tier 3 subs, that's... That's very kind. But there's definitely better stuff that you could do with that money, Legend. Seriously. Have, have any of you guys ever tier 3 subbed anybody? I imagine it's very uncommon. Oh, we found it! Okay, here's a question. Can I go back to where I was? I mean, that's like... $25 a month, isn't it? I don't have any online subscription. Okay, we can't go that way. She's right there. Um, I don't have any online subscription that that's that expensive. Unless you count, like, bills. <laughs> Electricity. Okay, I think this is the door we came from. Yeah. So we kind of have to do a full circle to avoid her. And that's $34 in Canadian? Dang! But as Nate tells me, with your Canadian trash dollars, like, how much is that really? But I'm curious, with everything more expensive like that in Canada, what's, like, the Canadian minimum wage? Oh, God, it sounds like she's right there. All right, I'll go this way, game. Make up your mind. 42 in Australian dollars? Our minimum wage, it depends on the state. Sounds like she's right there. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> She's blocking me. Um, I think the minimum wage in California is like around $15 an hour. Of course, it's very different if you're like a waiter or waitress in certain states. The minimum wage is actually lower because you're expected to make up those wages and tips. Jeez, I can't see anything. I feel like this... Lighter is getting weaker and weaker. Oh yeah, it says it's almost empty. But we made it to the door. So I'm okay with that. Quick, use this. Get the hell out of here. 855. Which state are you in again, Lettuce? Or where are you at? And you have the same thing with the lower minimum wage for service? Yeah, that I don't understand. I don't think um, if you're a waiter or a waitress, you should have lower minimum wage. In California, they don't. It's all the same. But in a lot of states, especially back east, uh, minimum wage is... Oh, no. Keep on going, John. Keep on going. Even though my lighter's out. I gotta switch lighters. Or, oh, she's behind me. I'm just gonna close this on you. There we go. There's a bird in here. Just pretend like I'm not having a heart attack right now. Crap, we are completely out of lighters. That's not good. And 725 in Alabama. Yeah, let's see, a lot of states, that's like half the California minimum wage. But the cost of living is much more here, of course. Okay, I can hear something coming out of here, but it's not making any sense. And Georgia, yours is meant to be $19 an hour for minimum wage. That's not too bad, but I mean, once again different cost of living, right? And that's not too far off. 14 bucks to 11 bucks? That's not, like, ridiculous. When I went to Japan, figuring out yen versus, um... Oh, crap. Almost, the door just went away. <laughs> that door just went away. You basically had to, like... Oh, no. Divide by 100, and that's how many dollars you had. Is she ripping apart the bird? There's the lighter that I dropped. Um, oh, and the bird's gone in here, too. Even though it was just like a stuffed... 
and then she's gone. These games do such a good job of that. Making things appear when you turn around. What are we going to see now? A door again? No? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love it how they do that. I don't remember the first game that did that to me. Um, I, I think the first game I can remember that did that really well was Condemned on the Xbox 360. That was a cool game. Maybe we'll stream that sometime. Got a lot of Polaroids here. Can I look at these? No, they're all black. There's the figure again. A bunch of eyeballs. Oh, and the camera flashing on it. So maybe the camera is its weakness or something. It's like a little toy box. Oh, there's a bunch of birds in here. That's not creepy at all. Doing much better with squibs on the Discord call. Oh, that's good to hear, Yuki. Yeah, definitely when you... Honestly, it might be scarier for you, atmosphere-wise, than it is for me. Especially if you're playing in the dark or watching in the dark. Because I'm constantly talking and kind of keeping things going. But uh, you're just kind of in the quiet for the most part. Unless you're talking on Discord. Texting, you know, to chat. But it's still like all you're hearing is the game and me. So... Uh, yeah, that definitely increases the creepy factor. It doesn't appear to be anything else we can interact with here. Can't grab any of those things. I don't even know what these are. I think they're stuffed animals, like, stuck in the wall. Oh, do you even sleep with the light on? I could never do that. I need to have darkness. A row? Oh, that's just... Speaking of darkness... This room's just black, except for that dresser. I don't have any light source. Well, I do have a camera. It doesn't show anything. There's no reflection. We're just going to go for it. I need insurance on my sanity. Seriously, please don't have a heart attack, anybody. If, if the game gets too creepy, I got two recommendations. Either don't watch, which I hate to scare people off, but... If it's not your kind of game, it's not your kind of game. Or turn down the brightness. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, we have to fight it with this. Wait a second. Was that, was that other face, that big shadowy creature? I think that might have been that. That was cool. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, I'm playing. Oh, I still have my camera. I don't have any lighters. This is my light source. Okay, let's go get a lighter, guys. <laughs> are these the same light switches as before? Or is this luring us to the next place? I'm not sure. All the light switches are still taken out. I think maybe I'm supposed to follow these. Oops, I picked up a mug. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Okay, we made it back here. I remember there were some lighters back here. What just happened? Something changed. Okay, let's um, grab this. And I think there was more lighters in here. We could put a lighter or a candle in there, but I'm cool with the candle being right there. I don't have too many reasons to go in that other room. I think there was more lighters in here or something. There's more sanity pills. Oh, here's another lighter. There we go. And another one. I kind of want to stock up on lighters. <laughs> ah, so here's where all of the um, lights um, sockets went. And you sleep with no lights, no mask, and no anything, except for blankets and clothes. Yeah, Legend, I like no lights. Um, I don't wear a mask or have, like, earplugs or anything. Just 
Just dark. I just like it dark and quiet. Am I supposed to do something in here? Why did it take me over here? I can grab every single one of these. I don't see any point to. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use the camera more. Maybe there's something else to flash in here. I don't see any more markings on the wall, though. I kind of don't think so. It seemed like the game was luring me back here. Is there something on the wall? I think it's just a reflection. No, it's kind of a dead end. Okay, well now where are we going? We want to go back upstairs? Oh, I thought I saw something outside, but it's just my reflection of my lighter. Whoa. Oh, why? Why, game? Why? He kind of shanked us. Kind of Dolores style. <laughs> With like his fingers. His really long, sharp fingers. Oh, that was a good one. I was not expecting that. But honestly, our sanity's pretty low all the time because we just don't have enough light sources. See, there you go, Georgia. Yeah. My wife, same thing. I'm not six foot two. I'm six foot one. But uh, we also have three dogs. They're not large dogs. They're all very small dogs. Speaking of dogs, hold on. Let me pause this real quick. See if I can get a quick dog cam going here. I had problems with this last time. Hopefully this works this time. Yes, he's not showing up now. It's working on my phone. I wonder why it's not working here. No. Oh, you know what? The IP address. Oh, no, that looks like it's still there. Yeah, I'm not sure why this isn't working anymore. Should be right there. I'll have to play around that after stream. I used to be able to bring up my phone on camera so I could show you guys the pups when they come in to sleep on the couch. It looks like it's all set up correctly, but it's just not, not appearing. Hiding it, bringing it back. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to play with that. Ah, uh, technical issues. <laughs> 120 pounds. Yeah, that's more than all three of our dogs put together. Let's see. Jesse's about seven pounds, probably. Seven, eight pounds. Um, Georgie, I think he's like 16, 17 pounds. And Gus is like 26, 27 pounds. Actually, you already saw them earlier. Those are them right there. That's Jesse on the left, Gus in the middle, and Georgie on the right. It sounds like a lot of kilos. I only know kilos in reference to drugs, and that sounds like a lot. Same, same Phantasma. Us and that stupid Imperial system that we use, right? So it looks like we just came out of the attic. Is what happened there. Um, I kind of want to follow those things up. Do they still go to the same room? I'm going to die just trying to figure out where this, this is all coming from. Oh, I missed this earlier. 
I'm glad I came back here. It's a mannequin jaw. Is that what it said? A mannequin jaw? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like that. Oh. I think I know where this is going. Remember in the basement area? There's kind of that area that's under construction. And behind a tarp, there's um, a place that has like a mannequin always. So I think that's where this goes. That makes sense. Okay, so actually these things kind of take me in the right direction. Fortunately, this camera, I don't think actually gives us any real useful light. <laughs> I'm just running through this trying to get out of here. There's light. Okay. So before we go, let's grab a bunch of these. And I'll probably take some sanity pills too. I feel like our sanity is actually pretty low right now. Maybe I should grab this and put it here. Uh, maybe they give off better light. Come on! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to take the pills. Dang it. <laughs> you jerk. That's not even Lucy. I don't know what that is. What do we call that thing? <laughs> I completely forgot about that quote, Relentless. That one's amazing. As I'm starting to read it, I'm like, I don't remember saying that. Oh, and now it comes back. Action 53. That was an experience. There's actually some really good games in there. Call it Esther. See, then I think of that game, Dear Esther, or Esther. Have you ever played that game? It was interesting. It was uh, a very different walking simulator kind of game. Very minimalist, but it was very pretty and had great music. Or, or the insidious friend. That's true, Yuki. Let's grab this before we go. Okay, as we have no light source, I'm just gonna book it in the dark as quick as I can. Um, okay, where'd they go? I actually kind of need this to see where it goes. Takes a right, doesn't it? There we go. Can't even see that direction. Oh, I'm stuck. I got turned around. There we go. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly take some pills because I think they're in here. I think there's some pills in here. I think I dropped them on the floor. Let's stand near the light. Take a chill pill. See, if you're chill in this game, you're less likely to get killed by whatever's haunting you. I'm not standing in the dark. I'm standing right in front of the television. Okay, let's uh, pick this guy up. And a lighter. Let's put the candle up here. Let's quickly light it. Okay. Is that enough life, light for you, game? Um, I think there was more lighters in there, possibly. Let me go take a look real quick. Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I want to start quick saving more. I just took a chill pill game. What do you want from me? Oh, that's cool. All of his like flowing like cloth on the bottom is like super bloody. That's awesome. You have a 12 year old, uh, almost 1300 pound golden retriever legend. That's awesome. Golden Retrievers are just the coolest dogs. They're so friendly, so laid back. Poor Yuki, about to have a heart attack. Protection, you got the friend protection. You can't die, Yuki. I <laughs> need call an ambulance. Heart attack, bad. Okay, Sa same plan. I don't know what I can do differently, except I'm going to quick save once I get down there. It's 
sometimes I'm not sure if, am I doing something like obviously wrong? Or is this game just really tricky like that? Where's the exit? There it is. Okay, what if I stand near here for a little bit? Is this enough light? Yeah, I have to use that camera right then, Yuki, because I have no way else to see what I'm doing. No, it, it still tells me there's not enough light. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save. There we go. Let's go ahead and quickly light this thing. It didn't help me too much, but it's something. Oh, you're right. I totally forgot about that. It doesn't like the flashlight. Okay, where is it? Or the flashing lights. Where are you, demon? Maybe I scared it away. I think you did, Yuki. I think you did. Okay, with that, we're going to grab some of this. Grab those pills. And I think that's everything in here. Oh, there's another lighter. Oh, I'm full. So let's do another quick save. So anytime I hear that croaking noise, it's time to start flashing all over the place. Okay, I have a lot of pills. Um, I'm going to take another one. I wish I knew how many pills were in each one of these. I can't really tell. There's no way to, like, look at it, you know, without actually eating it, I guess. So I'm going to drop this one, grab that lighter, and then we're going to head to the place with the mannequin. Now we have to get downstairs somehow. I think it was this way. Pretty sure. Yep, this is the construction zone. There we go. Oh no, here it is. Where are you? Evil demon. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, that's probably the only thing keeping me alive, honestly. I think? I think it's this way? Oh, I can't actually get to that. There used to be a mannequin back there. Maybe this is the mannequin I have to put the jaw on. Let's try this. There we go. Nope. Don't like that. I need more light. <laughs> Can't I just... Oh, look at this. Whoa! See that? <laughs> this game has some really cool effects. Yeah, because actually, Yuki, we saw that in the um, the storyboards that she had put in the treehouse. The different pictures kind of telling a story. Um, one of them was actually about that the camera looked like it was hurting it. <laughs> Georgia, cool effects. <laughs> kind of... Um, do you like Georgia? I know it's more spelled like Georgia. Georgia? Let me know how to say it. I'm so bad with names. So if I'm mispronouncing it, please let me know. Oh, I can't save right now. More like, um, I like the special effects they do to scare the crap out of you. They always kind of catch me off guard. In a good way. Oh, there's a few different ways to go. <laughs> I know. If you were a ghost getting spammed, I'd run away too. Actually, it kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice. Have you guys all seen that movie? If you haven't seen Beetlejuice, you really should. But there's a scene where uh, they nobody can see them because they're ghosts, but they can move stuff around. So they put on sheets, cut holes through their eyes, and actually pretend to be ghosts. And they can't scare the girl they're trying to scare. She takes a camera and tries to get photographic evidence. And the ghosts, they hate the flashing. Just like this game. Uh-oh, we can't use that light now. Oh, I hear it. Oh! Oh! What the hell? What was that? 
That was cool. <laughs> there was somebody there just like turned upside down. And when I took a picture, it was just a wall. This is a really effective chapter. This is neat. Oh, we can't get through that side of the closet. Okay. You have not, nor will you ever see Beetlejuice. Yuki, Beetlejuice is not a scary movie, um, if that's what you're worried about. It's actually a really fun, quirky Tim Burton movie. It's actually rated PG, I think. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. I saw that. North, how's it going? This game... I'm actually really enjoying this game. It's it's not as much of a walk-in simulator as like Layers of Fear was. It has some more gameplay mechanics. And it's really creepy. Very effective scares. Now, what is this a painting of? I can't even see it with all this flashing. Of course, I still can't use my lighter. If you're wondering, that's why I have to use a camera all the time right now. Well, the house looks completely different now. Isn't it such a good movie, Relentless? I saw Beetlejuice when I was a young kid, and it's still one of my favorite Tim Burton movies. It might be my number one favorite. I'm not sure. I also really like Edward Scissorhands. I like a lot of his older movies, but those are up there. If, um... What is it called? If Nightmare Before Christmas was actually his, that would be up there as well, but it's a different director. Shut up. Nobody likes that static. Unless you're in Silent Hill. Oh, I feel like I've been in this room before. Oh, maybe not. I was going to say the one I remember was like a big square that went around. Grilled tomatoes. Nope. The beard is gone. It's been a long time, Grilled. How have you been? What you been up to? Um... I got rid of it shortly after Christmas break. Actually, I think I got rid of it before my first stream back. What was that? January 4th or 6th or something? I forget. Hey. You see that, man that mannequin tried to hurt me. Hello? I hear that creepy noise. <laughs> Just school. A lot of school. I hear that. Hopefully, um, hopefully there's some a break coming up soon for you, Girl Tomato, or maybe some easier classes. Where is this thing? I can hear it everywhere. I just can't see it. I'm trying to scare it away. Get away from me! Oh, we have to go up this way. Are there any items I'm supposed to be grabbing here? I feel like I'm rushing through this stuff. Yeah, bearded man dressed as Spider-Man. Playing Spider-Man is gone. <laughs> that was a fun stream, dressing up as Spider-Man. Luckily, the beard didn't affect how the uh, the mask looked all that much. The only thing I really noticed is that my mustache actually kind of pierced through the mask a little bit. If I if we got if I showed you a really close up of the mouth, sometimes the beard poked through a little bit. Oh, I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 8, uh, McSquibby. Have you played the demo yet? What the hell is this? It's a bunch of these big armoires. Am I supposed to open up all these? It's going to be really short, Squibby, so I probably won't um, do an entire stream just de dedicated to that. But I'll probably fit it into a stream at some point. Oh, sorry, I missed that, Georgia. So it is like the state Georgia? You just couldn't have the single E? Of course not. There's so many of those names taken up, aren't there, Georgia? It's funny because my wife calls our dog Georgie. Georgia all the time. <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. I chose poorly. Okay, so what am I supposed to do there? Um, maybe you just listen for the noise and not do that the one that's making the most noise and try to find an exit, I guess. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Because honestly, like getting scared is fun for me. 
And honestly, a lot of times, like, anything, like, loud like that's going to make you jump. It doesn't matter if you're scared of stuff or not. But I never really get scared. I think it's more fun. Um, it's so funny. When I go to Halloween Horror Nights, Andy at Universal Studios, Andy screams her head off. She can't handle it. But she has fun. Me? I'm just there with this big stupid grin on my face the whole time. Just, like, admiring all the cool artwork and the guys jumping out at me and stuff. It's great. Nope, that's not an exit. <laughs> because John is evil. I'm just very desensitized to horror. I watched a lot of horror movies growing up as a kid. I'm still going to open up the ones I opened up before. So, I, I have a great admiration for horror. And not a visceral fear of horror. Now, if something happened in real life, oh yeah, I'd be terrified. But if I'm watching a movie or playing a game, it's all fun. Oh, it's midnight for you. Perfect time to watch this stuff, Grilled Tomatoes. Okay, it was... I, I think it was that one over there. That got me. Oh, that's not good either. Now it's gone. <laughs> Unfortunately not, Grilled Tomato. This is going to be a normal stream, which... Eh, we got a little over an hour or so left. But I do have work tomorrow. Although I do have a short work day. Because I had to work lo long on Monday. So I only have to work like six hours. Okay, it sounds like it might be in this one. <laughs> right, Katego? Take me to Narnia, please. No, it, it more sounds like it's coming from this one. So I'm going to open up this one. Gosh, it sounds like it's in all of these. You know... Oh, this one's making the most noise. It's hard to describe what this game is about, Grilled Tomato. Um, in the very beginning of the game, you are standing in a room with some people tied up. I think it was your family. You load up a bunch of g bullets into a gun. You shoot all of these people that are tied up like hostages. And then you shoot yourself. Maybe we're trying to listen to a very specific sound. I think that was the one that got us last time. But yeah, after that, Girl Tomato, you just kind of uh, wake up in this house in like a pool of blood. You walk out and you're exploring the house and getting haunted by these creepy ghosts. Linz, how's it going, Linz? Did the neighbor ever say hi? Friendly neighborhood viewer, how's it going? Good to see you again. And Spider, everyone's showing up at once. All right. I don't think I have a choice. I think I gotta open up this one. Hmm. I don't like the noise it's making. Okay, this one's a wheezing sound. I don't think this is gonna be the ghost. Fingers crossed. No, well, that wasn't it. Okay, I think we have to avoid the croaking ones. Dang it! Got me again! Uh, I don't know what we'll have to do. Um, that one was wheezing. Okay, avoid the wheezing ones then. Maybe I had it mixed up. I might have had it mixed up. I could have sworn though we had actually opened up a different one before that got me. And there might be more than one that gets you too. Or maybe you're haunting them. Ooh, Yuki, I like the twist. They're not dead. We're the ones that are dead. We just see them as dead. <laughs> it's the worst game of Jack in the Box. I'm in the gang? Of course you are, Linz. I don't think my mother would like that very much, but I'm an adult now. So where's my Harley? Ooh, a biker gang. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna... I think skip all the way to the end here. The Others. That was a good movie, Spider. I like that one. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to just remember the last few that we did. That one wasn't it. Let's try this one. Nope. Oh, for sure you can, Yuki. Hey, what the heck? 
Does this one not have two sides? There's that side. Maybe I missed it. There it is. Okay. I was going to say, most of these have two sides you can open up. Nothing there. This one's wheezing. Which makes me think this is going to be bad. Uh, do I try? <laughs> do we get matching jackets? You know, people have asked me before if I would open up a merch store. I probably will at some point. I, I was never in a rush to do so. But I want to make something that's like, yeah, I would love to have that on a shirt, on a jacket, on a mug, or whatever. You know, just some some really cool, either whether it's a logo or some kind of cool artwork that has me, Andy, and the dogs and stuff on it. Something like that, you know? Well, I'll, I'll have to come up with something. I feel like this one's going to kill me. Ooh. It did have that creepy noise, though. Oh, I found oh, I found a hole. What is this? Can I can I use this? Can I go down this hole? Is this correct? Am I just stuck in a hole? There we go. I hope that's what I was supposed to do. I don't know. Totally fine. Nothing's wrong. This is our normal house. What is that shadow? <laughs> Where is the shadow coming from? Totally normal, right? It bangs pots and pans together. Merch, merch, merch. I really want to, and I'll probably mostly coordinate with you guys because I want something that you guys think is really cool rather than come up with something to stroke my ego, which I don't have much of. I just want something that would be like, yes, this is legitimately something that I would want to own kind of thing. And I know Nate's been asking for stickers for a long time. Even just the, um, all of our cool emotes as stickers, which I do like that idea. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's someone in the middle of the room. <laughs> Dang it. Wait, what did it just say on the bottom of the screen? It just said something. Something along the lines of... Something like, you should follow me. Or something like that. Dang, and here I thought me blasting that light was going to save me. It didn't work. Speedy, hey, welcome back, dude. We just got murdered. But we did make progress. What was the deal with all of those armoires? Like, is there any reason for all those? Like, none of these seem to open and have anything useful. I feel like I just needed to find this exit. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Who needs coffee when you got this? This will wake you up. Oh, yeah. So he's standing right there in the middle of the room. Every time I flash... You can see that. We'll release a triple pack of the pup plushies. You know, Andy might get into making those amigurumis. I think that's what you call them. The crocheted animals, pretty much. Oh, it's going really good, Speedy. How are you, dude? Wish I had tomorrow off work. This is my long week where I work actually five days. But I, oh, maybe I'm supposed to flash the light so it matches that. Can I even do that? Oh, not quite. Oh, look, the flash reflection doesn't have a head. Do you notice that? But this figure here does have a head. Oh, that's weird. Can I climb up this? No. Hmm. Ah, I walked right through this thing. Oh, I should keep this with you for now? What does that even mean, Hasifa? Yeah, I, I know there was a message, but I wasn't sure what it was. All right, now that the whole house is... Not, not the whole house. There's some of the houses sideways. This is different. Kid's room is overgrown with stuff. My lighter still doesn't work. 
still can't quit quick save. Oh no, it's coming again. It's coming. I think I should run when that happens. My dynamic inventory is full. Wait, can I move this thing? Hold on. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and pop a pill. Drop the pills. Which I hate to do, but... What are my options, right? And then... Let's see if we can move this. Aha! Now, can we go in here? Ta-da! I don't know if I'm going the right way. But we'll keep going this way. So yeah, Speedy, that was the Dolores chapter. We finished that chapter, got all of Dolores' story. Then the game spits you back out to the main house, and you have to find another special item to start the next story. Right now, we are following this girl named Lucy. It seems that she killed her bird, and she feels a lot of guilt over it, and her parents were very mad at her, of course. But there's this weird voice that was talking to her. Oh, <laughs> That happened last time. I hate that. I feel like we've been here before. We have been here before. Um, I mean, after that chapter, I guess she kind of left us to be. I think we're done with Dolores. She could come back. Oh, there's something in here. Still can't use that. All right, I guess I'm going to try to open this up. Can't. I can't even see where I am. Try to open up this drawer. Oh, I got one side of it. How about the other side? There's nothing in there. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was, Skywalker. I think it's this guy right here that you're seeing on the wall. That's what's haunting us right now. Lucy's not really haunting us anymore. I could have sworn it just said something on that wall. Nah, I think it's just a reflection of the light. You know what? I think this house is um, repeating again, like a loop. What do I do? I'm stuck. <laughs> if it's behind me, I can't go anywhere. Um, oh crap, I can't move this stuff. Yeah, that's a dead end. Why is it telling me the light right here, though? That's interesting. We already know about the light. Oh, look at that. There's claw marks going all the way down here. <laughs> Girl Tomato, I'd rather just become a ghost. If you can't beat him, you join him, right? So there's claw marks going in this room. I feel like I'm missing something in here. Claw marks go all the way over here. Wish I could see what I was doing. Babadook. That was a creepy movie. Oh no! Oh no! Where is he? I'm getting back in the light. I feel like I'm supposed to do something in this room, but I don't know what, and I can't tell with the lights off. Oh, is there something on this wall? That's just the scratch marks. Okay, I'm over that room. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Legend, you gotta get to sleep, dude, if you got school in seven hours. At least give yourself six hours to sleep and, you know, an hour to get ready for work or school or whatever. Okay, so we're back here. Yeah, see, this kind of loops down again. Oh, did that movie freak you out, Relentless? You know, the little kid in that movie was so good at being really, really loud and obnoxious. I not store this item. I just want to move this item. I want to go back where I was. There we go. I don't know if there's any practical use for this item. I just kind of want it out of the way. 
Okay, we haven't been this way yet. I don't think we have. My gosh, I can't see anything. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think it's just a storage closet. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, another one of these things. Nope, nothing in there. Maybe there isn't anything else back this way. Maybe I am supposed to loop around. Because we still know this creepy room, but I don't know anything to do in here. Oh, there's a tape right there. I can't reach that tape. I also can't turn on the TV. I didn't really think about that, but there could be something in here that I need. <laughs> we'll have to wait for Resident Evil 8 for that, Skywalker. Similar kind of creepiness, but you get to fight back. Oh no, here it is. Where are you, jerk? I should probably run when I hear that. Oh, it's right there. Where can I go? Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was the first time I've seen it. Before it's killed me. So that's what you need the camera for. It might have helped scare it away, but it, at least it lets me know where it is. Okay, I think I am supposed to go this way and loop through. You know what's driving me crazy is that I can't save and I can't use any lighters. <laughs> you were considering putting Baba Duke on your watch list? Oh my gosh. Um, I recommend it, Grilled Tomatoes. It's not everybody's favorite movie. But I thought it was really good. Um, a little kid, though. Man, was that an effectively annoying little kid. We saw that before. <laughs> that is such a cool scene. I like that. Wait a second. Did that just reset me? No, I'm back here. Hold on. I thought I just went down here. Now the candle's on. It is kind of repeating, but it's a little different. You know, CD, Speedy, that Lights Out movie? I remember enjoying it. That's like one of my wife's scariest movies. She can't handle it. Oh, this door's open now, too. Okay, now I think we're making progress. Oh, I can't open it. There's something blocking the way. Oh, there's like a lock on that side. You see that? I'm not sure. Just it did a really good job with the jump scares, I guess, Speedy. Something like that. But it, it really ramped up the tension in a way that she just did not enjoy. <laughs> okay, what's the deal with this room? This looks empty. I don't even know what the scariest movie I think now is because, like I said, I'm very desensitized to it. Um, I remember the scariest movie I had seen for a long, long time was the original It. I love that movie. I saw that when I was really little. So that really creeped me out. Hmm. How do I get through here? I feel like I missed something in there. Oh, the ghost in the movie? Yeah. Have you ever seen the original Lights Out Speedy? It was like a three minute video on YouTube. Just a short little film. It was really cool. I mean, some of what's in the movie was from that. But that's originally why they even created the movie was because of that short film. I can't close this door. I don't know what the deal with this room is. Maybe it's just a dead end with a candle. I gotta say, one of the most unsettling movies I've seen in a long time. Um, 
Let me think of the name of it. It's the same director that did Midsummer. Uh, Hereditary. That's it. Hereditary. It's not like a jump out and scare you kind of movie, but it does such a good job of getting underneath your skin. Hey, 4K0. How's it going? Welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, it seemed like that room repeated, but I'm not sure how to get back in there. <laughs> the one about the girl. That's very general. A lot of movies are about a girl, but there is a girl in the movie. I wouldn't say she's the main character. I feel like the game wants me to go here. Ah, oh, wasn't it, Gabriel? It really gets under your skin, and it also works really well with multiple viewings. The more you watch that movie, the more you get out of it. They hide so much symbolism and cool little things in that movie. Oh, The Orphan Girl. No, that one's different. I think that movie's called The Orphan. Oh, Squibby, you heading out of here? Oh, good night, Squibby. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this creepy experience. You know, since the level's kind of repeating, I'm less sure about where I need to go next. Ah, uh, see, we saw that before. And I think this was... Oh, no, you can go upstairs. It also might be repeating because I missed something. Oh, you can't go this way now, though. I could have sworn before I could go through that door. Now it's jammed. Oh, are you heading to bed, Legend? Hopefully there'll be an all-stream Saturday, though. Oh, yeah, we'll do our normal stream on Saturday, for sure. Oh, good night, Legend. Good luck not having nightmares. Do you just watch that uh, Lights Out short? It's really good. I thought it was really effective for like a three-minute thing, you know? There was another one of those like short films that was actually really good that I think they might have turned into a movie as well. Um, I'm trying to think of which one it was, though. It wasn't Lights Out. Oh, uh, Mama, I think. I think they made a movie about that, but the, the short film is actually really cool, too. Yeah, on YouTube, check out uh, Mama. Good memory, Nate. Yes. Oh, no. My birthday is on Tuesday, the 26th. Oh, it's like right there, isn't it? Just open up the door. I think I might have scared it, too. Yeah, Mama was originally a short film, and then they turned it into a full movie. But the short is really effective. Oh, man. I swear the game wants me to go in here. I can't interact with the clock. Because there's these creepy claw marks coming in here. Am I supposed to flash this thing up close, maybe? Oh, yours is on the 18th? Happy belated birthday, Speedy. How old did you turn, if you don't mind saying? And if you're under the age of 13, don't tell me. Because technically, you're not allowed on Twitch. <laughs> okay, no, it has nothing to do with that. What am I supposed to do here, guys? Anything behind the door? 19. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. I mean, nothing wrong with kids watching Twitch. Honestly, if I had a kid that was like 10 or 11, he wanted to watch Twitch, I'd be fine with it. I'd monitor a bit of what he does, but... I'd be fine with it. But technically the policy is you're supposed to be oh crap, at least 13, I think, to even watch Twitch. Yeah, I think it's right in front of me. Okay, maybe I have this all wrong. There's also claw marks going this way. But then they seem to stop. I think I'm hitting it with the camera before it has a chance to attack, Speedy. 
thought the claw marks were coming down, but now I don't see them. It looks like they stopped right up there, near this light, or this painting. Do you guys see that? Like, look right here. Here's the start of the claw marks. I can't click on the painting. I'm not sure where they go after that. You know, I'm afraid I might have missed something in that creepy room with all of the um, armoires. I honestly don't remember how to get there. I don't even know if I can go back there. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not missing anything. The only other place that looks really creepy and haunted... Oh! Oh, am I supposed to sit down with, with, with the panda? Hey, panda. You want your picture taken? What's the point of sitting here? Ah, <laughs> yes. The weed room. <laughs> Have I told you guys I've never, ever smoked? Not a cigarette. Not weed. Nothing. It's about the worst thing I've had is had something to drink. I've had alcohol. John's one of the cool the, the cool kids. <laughs> well, technically speedy, depending on which country you're from, you're probably not legally allowed to drink yet, but most people did before they're 21 anyway. But I didn't actually drink until I was 21. Maybe I had something when I was 20, like late 20, I don't remember. But it felt like I waited until I was 21. And I feel like there's something in this room I'm missing. This room is definitely trying to get my attention with this creepy shadow. Oh, wait, I missed this. Look at this. There's eyeballs right here underneath the... Uh, um, what should call it? The rug. Ah! Oh. How many times have I walked past this room and missed this? Oh crap! It's coming for me. <laughs> bad timing. Bad timing. Phew! Hard to believe this is the same house as the other place, right? And Phantasm, you don't drink often, but never smoked. But that's because they have bad asthma. Oh, that definitely makes sense. I rarely drink. Um, I probably have something to drink once or maybe twice a month. And hardly at all anymore because of COVID. Like, I only drink with friends typically. Sometimes I would have a drink or two on stream if I had a late night with you guys. But that was about it. And I know some of you guys are drinking with me. So it all worked out. Oh, there's something here. It looks like an eyeball, but there's actually a real hole here. Oh, are we sticking our arm in there? What the heck is that? Is that a 2 by 4 Looks like it's... Sounds like it's metal. What the heck was this? What do we just do? Oh! I think maybe that was the bar that was blocking that other door we couldn't get through. God, I still can't save. And Castronomical is refreshing to hear. You're sober and it's hard to find others who aren't all about it. I mean, I don't particularly have anything against people that smoke. Like, I have friends that do it. It's fine. I don't necessarily want to be around it when they're going crazy with it. But I won't let them do it in my house. But if they want to do it at their place and I'm over it, that's fine. Um... But yeah, it's just not for me. And especially with uh, my work now and stuff, I, I would never touch it. But yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with abstaining from that stuff. Don't let anyone tell you different. But you're also not the devil if you want to do it. I don't think. I don't have too much of an issue with it. <laughs> they don't, Relentless. It's really weird. Okay, now I think the room was this way. Oh, that's right, Grilled Tomato. Yeah, the shadow was gone, wasn't it? 
because he was trying to lead me towards that um, exit. Ah, this is the door that we just opened. It was, um, was it this one? Where was it? I just loop around. This house confuses me. Um, it was right around here. This one right here. This is the door that was blocked by a big beam. Yeah, see, it's not there anymore. It was being held right there. Hello? He's right there, guys. I'm gonna hit him with the flashlight. He doesn't give a shit. Hey, <laughs> Go away. Alright, I'll go this way. Okay, you know what this is? There's not, there's no bars, but this reminds me of Silent Hill 2. When you first run into Pyramid Head, they have a scene just like this, where the first time you see him, he's just staring at you. He doesn't attack you. He doesn't try to get to you. He just watches you. You see him again much later, and it's way scarier, but the first time you see him, it's just very unsettling and strange. <laughs> Be gone, Satan. I can't believe I still can't use my lighter. But at the same time, the game doesn't really care if you're in the dark. Because they don't give you any light source, so I don't feel as bad. I should look around a little bit more. I might be missing some items. The game also stopped giving me items. Like, I haven't found a lighter or pills or anything recently. Oh no, I just did a repeat. I think I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Have I been in here before? No, I think this is new. I should keep moving. <laughs> it's probably behind me. Can I open up all the doors? I need a rusty key for that door. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, go away. Be gone. I think I got him. Just barely. Oh, that goes back towards the garage, I think. Okay, let's go this way. Well, that's just a dead end. What is that down there? It looks like there's some water over there. Oh, have a good night, Gabriel. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi. Always good to see you, dude. All right, I think this is the only way we can go. I hear rats. Oh no, it's our footsteps on the plastic. I thought that was a rat for a second. That'd be the only living thing in this place. Oh! I almost walked right into him. I don't think he's actually there. I think it's a fake. Oh, are you out of here, Zero? Take care, Zero. Thank you for the follow again. Hopefully we see you again sometime soon. I, uh... Yeah. It's just clothes. I don't know if that's a glitch, or if that's just supposed to be like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. He doesn't like me messing with his body. Stay away. Get back. <laughs> Get back. Think that was a glitch? It might have been. Maybe he was supposed to be there and then gone. Oh, I see a key. Got that rusty key. Nice. I will say, even with the confusing parts of this, I guess, uh, chapter with Lucy, it's not nearly as... I don't get nearly as lost as I did with the previous chapter. Oh, crap. It's back. Where is it? Where is it? I'm scared I'm going to walk right into it. <laughs> I have a camera. I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, let's use our rusty key. We have a lot of VHS tapes we need to watch, too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say too young, Speedy. Too young. Too early to tell. How about that? Quite the opposite of Dolores.
whole bunch of tools. They were doing some kind of uh, construction down here. <laughs> Poor Speedy. I didn't know. <laughs> George, I don't want to watch the tapes. And what a, one one was called guilt, right? Can I examine it? Negligence. Oh, it's back. Where are you? You can't just let me look at a tape for half a second, can you, Mr. Ghost? Yeah, so I, at first I thought they were all going to be the seven deadly sins, but negligence isn't one of them. Um, no. I see all those bodies down there. Can I, uh, can I sneak over on the side? Nope. I actually don't think I could do anything. I think I'm just stuck. But I want to get over there. Oh, do, maybe I need to find a plank or something. We did that before. You have to find something that you can place on top of it, and then you can cross. Maybe one of these boards? All kinds of boards around. Grab one of them, any of them, I don't care. I don't think we can. Oh, maybe this one. <laughs> we need the ones with the eyeballs. Can't see where I'm going. I hope there's no ghosts. Ah, now I can see. <laughs> we should just be able to jump across, right? It wasn't like a huge gap. But yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. There we go. Cross across the bodies. Oh, that one's squibby. We left that like way back there, but... Luckily, we didn't have to backtrack all the way back there and grab that. It was also like a big piece of metal. I don't know if we could have even carried it. Hey, what's behind door number 412? I don't know how many doors we've opened. This looks different. Oh, crap. Come on, the lights were on. It was so nice. Why you gotta do this game? Can't even see the door I was trying to open now. No, Lucy's not super kind. What was that noise? Is that us trying to open the door? Oh, one of these doors just opened. Which one was it? The lights came back on. I can't even try to open these doors. But that the thing with the long fingers and the mask, that's not Lucy, that's something else. I think it's whatever talks to Lucy, tells her to do things. <laughs> oh! Hi, buddy. Oh, I wasn't supposed to walk towards it. It's one of those things... I, I don't trust anything in this game. I assumed it was like a optical illusion kind of thing like oh you see this thing in the dark i'm gonna walk through and then it's gonna be gone <laughs> nope not that one <laughs> that was cool i don't know what that was we've never seen him before okay where was the quick save just beyond that perfect <laughs> john you freaking oh katega you out of here i'll oh, get some good sleep hopefully not some good nightmares after watching this Oh, I just saw that thing. Oh, that's the thing that was making the shadow earlier that we saw in that room. Ah, that's the door that moved. I wondered what that noise was, but we can't open up that door. And then we see his shadow walk into that room. And now, of course, I'm going to do this again. But I ain't going to go any closer. <laughs> I learned my lesson. That's ominously red. This is like a completely different house than it was the last chapter. I don't recognize hardly anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, now it's a brick wall, huh? Trying to tell me I was just looking at bricks? Yeah, game? 
a liar face. This chapter definitely has better jump scares than the Dolores chapter. I think the Dolores chapter, even though we haven't finished this one yet, probably had a um, maybe a more intricate story about like the old woman having like Alzheimer's and schizophrenia and like, just losing her mind and the husband trying to take care of her, you know. Um, but this one has some really good jump scares. So how are you lifting our spirits after this? I don't know, Phantasm. We're going to have to play something very, very happy. Very colorful. Very bright. Wait, was there something at the top of the stairs? I can't even see. It looks like a chair. Or a vase on top of the table. Oh, I think it's a lamp. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> this is so dark. Wait, we just turned on the light. Do I have access to this? Nope, still can't use the lighter. Of course not. <laughs> Murder house jackbox. Yeah, it's super fun, isn't it? Super cheery. There are some colorful games in uh, that. Doki Doki Literature Club. You know, it's funny, Relentless, because I streamed that game, but that was back when I hadn't met any of you. So it wasn't quite the same. But that was such a cool game. It was fun because I played it with Andy. And we did different voices for all the different characters, which basically meant that I got to do one voice and Andy had to do like four or five voices or however many girls there were in that. Oof. Okay, now where are we? John, the classic American guy in horror movies. <laughs> nice. I'm curious what I was saying or doing during that. I got to check that out. Thank you, Speedy. I love it when you guys take clips. Or Stardew, although that's a game... I guess you can technically beat it, right? I did actually beat it with Andy not too long ago. What is this? This looks like my garage. Yeah, it's not that bad. But still. There's my car. <laughs> um, yeah, I probably wouldn't do Stardew because I really just played it recently. Oh, Goose Game. That might be a good one, Phantasma. It's funny, there's one game I was planning on streaming, but then I watched Andy play it, or a decent chunk of it, not the whole thing, so I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it. But uh, Donut County, have you guys played that one? That one was actually a lot of fun. You promised to take back seats. I didn't promise. I said, oh, that might be a good one. And once again, I got to check with Andy. Got to check with the boss. There's a couple games I had planned to stream instead of this game, but didn't work out because Andy wanted to play it too. Um, one of them was Ori and the Will of the Wisps, the new one. And he wants to play that one. Um, what was another one? There was two games recently I mentioned to her. And she wanted to see both of them. Oh, she can... She could play it, but she, she'd rather play it off stream, Phantasma. Which means I will get to it, but it probably just won't be streamed. Yes, Andy's my wife. Uh, Let's get over this TV before the sanity gets me. That's the first time we got that warning in a long time. You know what I would love to do? Is play that game Little Hope with Andy. Where we can play it two players. Because I think those games now, you can kind of trade off the controller. And it works pretty well as a multiplayer game. Um, I just don't know if she'd be down for it. <laughs> She's not a big fan of horror games. Oh, did I miss yours, Grilled Tomato? There's this game called Last of Us 2. It's a pretty underground game. I already streamed that one, Girl Tomatoes. It's That's one of those games that if somebody recommended that I stream, I'd have to reject just because... Like, even if you spent 4,000 tokens, I'd just have to refund it. Because we've played it so recently, you know? <laughs> Definitely not a lighthearted game. That's one of the darkest games ever made. I, I liked it, though. I liked it a lot. It wasn't perfect. Oh, look. The candle's still burning, but it's almost gone. That's kind of cool. Okay, so after all that... Now I really don't know where we're going. Unfortunately, I don't have any new pieces. What was this thing again? Oh, we have a weird picture frame. What do I do with the picture frame? I don't even know.
Oh, the mannequin is gone. No, it's over here now. Okay, it moved. It was over there, remember? Hmm. Okay, well, let me check this out again. Do you guys remember this weird picture? We got to do something with this picture. I'm not sure where. <laughs> there was a joke in Last of Us 2 once or twice, like in the flashback scenes when it wasn't so scary. <laughs> what do you mean? It's super lighthearted. Yeah, I kind of, we, we tried to do that speedy a little bit in um, Until Dawn. I played that with Andy. And then I played Man of Medan with you guys. And Little Hope, I think, is one that, oh, that's the other one that she wanted to play. So I might not be able to stream that one. Or maybe I convince her to stream it with me. Who knows? Yeah, I really liked Until Dawn. That was a fun one. Am I supposed to grab one of these things? Oh, candles. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to put uh, that picture here. Can't use that here. Never mind. I was going to say, it looks like you could hang something on this wall right there. Okay, I need to take a chill pill. I am losing my mind. And Visage is the first proper game you watched me play, and you recently came from uh, Jetpacks. Oh, awesome, Speedy. Was this the first game that we were playing when Jetpack raided, or were we playing something else at the time? Well, here's a birdcage again. Oh, Poor birdie. Hmm... Okay, so I, I figure the next thing I have to do is place this painting. Oh, Silent Hill 2 is such a great game. I love Silent Hill. Pelican, hey, welcome back, dude. How are you been? Hmm. Maybe this is a hint as to where it needs to go. But that picture doesn't mean anything to me. One-way rentals from the West Coast to the East Coast for $10 a day. That's not bad at all, Skywalker. I mean, honestly, just to not put the miles on your car might be worth it. You know? I'm going to check out this room right here. Usually there's a bunch of supplies in these rooms. But <laughs> I'm not seeing much of anything in here. No candles, no lighters. There are a bunch of picture frames. I can't use it there. Uh, Lettuce. I don't remember where we got the picture, to be honest. That was a long time ago. Any of you guys remember where we picked up the picture? I hope it wasn't the case that, ah, uh, you were supposed to use the picture in that room. getting some weird creepy music right now I don't like it hmm I don't see any spot for like a picture in here this room seems to be important I think we came from this direction too. It was like 80,000 traumas before. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's probably an accurate count. There's usually some stuff in here too. Oh, here's some pills. Uh oh, the, the water heater's popping off. Hey, therapy. How's it going, therapy? Good to see you. You know us. We're just uh, having nightmares again. There we go. Ooh. I thought for a second I couldn't open that up. Nothing here with the toys. Yeah, there's this cool ominous music now. I like it. 
Okay, maybe I'm supposed to follow these scratches. I didn't really notice those before. Looks like they're coming up this wall. Uh, looks like it goes this way. Ah, turns. Okay, crosses over here. Um, shut up. Yes, therapy. I was telling Georgia that you had actually recommended that we rated her channel before. Okay, I am losing my mind. Let's take another chill pill. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I wasted the... Um... Oh, that bottle's empty. I said, quiet. <gasps> we... All right, there's something going on in here. It keeps slamming that door on me. We need more light in here fast. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. I think this light will help my sanity because I'm losing it so fast in this game. <laughs> yeah, we haven't murdered anyone in the game, but I might have murdered some of you guys. Okay, okay, game. I'm going to take a pill. Game's not going to let me keep going without taking this pill. Oh, I lost track of those scratch marks. Didn't I? It doesn't look like they went this way. Okay, looks like they go upstairs. That's where I missed. And then where did the scratches go? Are they over here? Don't like that noise. It looks like it's all scratched up right there. I mean, there's something in here. Oh, no. Oof. I was expecting something in there. I can't get out of the bathroom. I don't like this, guys. Can I open up this? No? What do I do? I have a flashlight. Anything in this drawer? No. Anything in here? No. Can I leave now? No. Not sure what's going on. It's weird. I actually have to close these doors so I can keep walking. I'll just close that for you. Maybe you're in there. You actually need some privacy. Or maybe I'm supposed to flash the light in here. Nope. I don't know what the deal is. What do you want from me, game? I don't really see any items I can interact with. I can't even use my flashlight. Oh, there we go. Nothing in the drawers. Yeah, I thought that too speedy. Like maybe the mirror, but no. I think I've checked all the drawers. Oh, the shower curtain, I had opened it when I first walked in and there was nothing there. So then I closed it. I don't see anything in there either. I can look at this. <laughs> Nothing there. So there's no items to take. I still can't open the doors. I'm just slowly losing my mind. Because it's so dark. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Okay, now I can see something behind that glass. Now it's not there. I'll give you your privacy. 
Can I please leave now? No. It's slowly filling up with water. Oh, let's try taking a picture. No, nothing there. Oh, you got to go. Oh, you're very welcome, Georgia. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you. Hopefully, uh, the, your drive home was very safe. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend. You take care. <laughs> See you later, Georgia. Maybe we're supposed to wait for this water to fill. I don't know. Oh, do we have any items we can use? No. This is weird. Oh, maybe I need to do it uh, with the lights off. Maybe it doesn't like the lights on. No, still nothing. Crap, where's the lights? Oh, I saw it. There we go. Ghost just wants to take a shower. There was like a window, right? Did you see that? He was like, they're just twitching like crazy. Oh no. No, I can't turn on the... What? Throw the hair dryer in the water? That's a good idea, therapy. I like how you think. I'm just going to close that. For dramatic effect. Open. Oh, the water stopped. I'm going to take a bath. Hey, Dapper Alchemist. What's going on? So really, we just had to wait for the water so we could get in there. This sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, we're probably pretty dirty. Where's the rubber ducky? It's not a bath without a rubber ducky. Of course. Is that Lucy? I think that's Lucy. Whoa! Did she just drown us? What just happened? <laughs> We're not dead. But where the heck are we? <laughs> yeah, hello, friendly. Oh, there's Lucy watching the TV again. She ain't getting up. She wants to watch more TV. Oh, we're going to find out what exactly happened to the bird, aren't we? Why would she do that? She loved Bingo. I don't know. She's never done anything like it. We... I think we should see a professional. Yeah. I think that professional didn't help. <laughs> there, be happy face, John. Did we just drown? Well, honestly, it was a relief based on what we were going through. No, we don't really know who we are exactly, Girl Tomato. Um, Lucy's the spirit who we kind of discovered one of her items, so she's currently kind of haunting us and taking us through her story. In the last stream, and last two streams actually, we were doing a, an old lady named Dolores, which if you're liking this game, Girl Tomato, you should check that out. Have you heard the diagnostic? She could be in danger. We don't have much of a choice. I know all that. But who the hell prescribes syringes for a child? Couldn't they just give us pills like everyone else? Ooh, that's why. How can a child trust a parent that thrusts needles up their arms? This new doctor clearly doesn't know anything about parenting. That's why she has all those creepy pictures with her getting stabbed with needles. Yeah, that's pretty much all we know, Lettuce. That's just how the game started. 
But like our name and stuff, I don't think we have a name yet. Or if there is a name, we're not supposed to know it yet. I don't want their help anymore. She's only been worsening ever since we went to these doctors. Imaginary friends and all these weird behaviors. She doesn't even call me mom anymore. They're just trying to help. It's not their fault. Even before we sought their help, she had problems. She killed Pico for fuck's sake. Language. Don't you remember? Wait, did she drown herself in a tub? Is that why we had that scene? We actually don't know what happened to Lucy yet. Oh, that's full of blood, isn't it? Well, we might as well just climb on in. <laughs> what else are you going to do here? Classic. Or Kool-Aid. Yeah, it could be Kool-Aid. Jello. A nice Jello bath. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, that'll get us back to the real world, won't it? <laughs> oh, we're back in the tub. The normal tub. The normal tub. <laughs> yeah, so that was Lucy just trying to tell us something, really. She went to a doctor. The doctors prescribed her some medication that the parents had to give it to her through needles. Which, that's... Kind of different. Uh oh. I see a body there. Is it hanging? No, she's just standing there. What the? Oh, jeez. Oh, How strong is that child? Oh. She, she ripped out her own jaw because that spirit was making her do it. <laughs> Not what I expected. still can't get out of here. We might have finished this chapter. I'm not sure. These are still blocked. Am I supposed to look through here again? Dang. Oh, there's the jaw. <laughs> Why is it still here? <laughs> Why am I picking it up? We found a... Oh, ew. This is our trophy for finishing this chapter. <laughs> That's gruesome. <laughs> she has nice, te nice teeth, though. End of Lucy's chapter. A gruesome end. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. Wow. End of a chapter. Once you've completed a chapter, you are far from being finished. We read this last time, but explore the house once more. You'll un discover new key items that open new paths. Visit the progress room to have an idea of your progress. You'll also be able to start a new chapter. Wait, can you start a new chapter from that room? I assumed we had to... Um... Oh, there's a tape in the toilet? Oh, I've been missing a few tapes. There's actually a few... Oh, yeah, right there. This one says pride. We should check this out. Uh, let me Let me save it real quick. Um, I think maybe in the downstairs television there was a VCR too. I'm not sure, but we got a we got some tapes to watch. Oh yeah, there's a VCR on the left. 
let's uh, let's check some of these out. It's it's getting close t- to time to wrap up, which is perfect for us just finishing this chapter. But I do want to see some of these tapes. I can't use that here. Are you kidding me? There we go. I just didn't quite highlight it correct. I feel like we're watching that movie from The Ring. I do have work tomorrow, unfortunately, therapy. I'm taking Monday off, though. Kind of an early birthday celebration. Oh, I don't think we've been in that room. What is this place? This one was called Greed, I think. Why does it keep showing a theme park? It's it's almost like home movies with little bits of creepy stuff recorded over, you know? It looks like some kind of laboratory, doesn't it? Raccoon City? Oh, you're going to bed? Uh. So, Lettuce, we will be back on Saturday, but our schedule is a different time. So usually we stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific time, and then Saturdays at noon. So we'll be doing this again on Saturday, but much earlier. I think something's about to kill me. I feel like I'm losing my sanity just watching this. Is it repeating? I think it's repeating. Let me watch a little bit longer. Got to catch up on all that CIA work after you take your day off. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to be working on my birthday, but yeah, we've already seen this. Okay. Um, I'll be working on my birthday, but I prefer to take that Monday off just to have a three days off in a row. How do I put the next one in? Oh, you have to eject it. That makes sense. Yeah, I hope we see you then, Lettuce. And it re- again... Very much appreciate all your help helping me when I get stuck in stuff. That'd be awesome to see you again and just to hang out. But I also appreciate the help. Um, Yeah, if it's something we're not going to gleam from just playing it, um, Hasifa, yeah, let me know. So that was Greed, I think. Was Greed the one we just watched? Or was it Pride? Maybe Pride was the one we just watched. Let's try Greed. Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. All right, so we got a woman with her kid. Ah, now that shows the vent. So maybe that's our hint that now would be a good time to use the vent. There's that creepy silhouette that we saw. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, that could be therapy it really could be when she was younger yeah oh yeah and there's the bird that might be Dolores I think it just repeated yep there's the vent again okay yeah so maybe you can piece all of these together and get an idea of something that you need to collect uh what's this one negligence that sounds like a fun tape. We also have two cassette tapes, but that was just Dolores talking. <laughs> That's a jolly guy. Look at him dance. We know that room. We've been in that room before. Oh, but there was a big hole in the wall where all those pictures were. So I think... That is a hint to maybe grab the sledgehammer and knock that wall out. That makes sense, Hasifa. So every time we watch a tape, it kind of shows you in the tape a certain location. You can go there and find an item. What is that? It looks like a shopping mall. One of them was therapy, but uh, yeah, negligence isn't. Um... Pride is. Pride and greed are. 
I don't think negligence is one. I'm trying to remember what they all are. You got pride, greed, lust, wrath, sloth. Uh, I'm drawing blanks. <laughs> Maybe negligence is one. I don't remember that one. Okay, I think it repeated. So that's just letting us know we got to plow our way through that wall. Cool. So we got three different items. I, I mean, it's not a bad idea. Um, that was a really good movie. Jealousy and Gluttony. Thank you, Relentless. Yes. Seven. Also, John, movie recommendation. If you've never seen Seven, definitely check that movie out. It's got Brad Pitt when he was really young. Morgan Freeman when he was still just Morgan Freeman. The guy never, doesn't age. And uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, I think. And the killer is somebody special too, but I'm not going to say who it is because if you had watched the trailers, if you watched the advertising, they never said who one of the actors in the movie was. They kept it a total secret, which was, I thought, a really cool idea. And then when you see him in the movie, it's a huge surprise, which I mean, it kind of makes sense if they had showed him during the advertising, even if they never showed him in the trailer, if you just saw his name on a poster, you immediately know he's going to be the killer because it's the only actor you haven't seen yet throughout most of the movie, you know? So I, know, I thought that was really cool how they did that. I wish more movies would surprise you with big actors. Like it wasn't even a cameo. He was a main character in the movie, but they didn't advertise him at all, which I thought was brilliant. Okay. Is there, are there any of those we can do really quick? I might be able to try getting to that vent. I'm trying to remember how to get there. Um, I've been through so many different versions of this house. Oh, heck yes, I want to know why you remember all those, Relentless. Was it back this way? No, that goes to the area with the... Um, oh, that's new. question mark <laughs> we don't know what that blood splatter is oh it's from a dating sim that's pretty cool relentless this game's gonna kill me before I find my way back there Yeah, I feel like I've been through so many different versions of this house. I'm having a hard time remembering which way is which. Losing my light. <laughs> Digging, I'm running around in circles. Wasn't there another way to go to right over here? I'm thinking of the house when Dolores was here and it was totally a different layout on this side. Okay, this lighter's empty. Let's go ahead and drop this. Another one. Man, I just really wanted to do one of those things really quickly, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. So which ghosts comes and haunts me if I'm not currently in a ghost chapter? I'm curious. I'm not even sure how to get to that side. <laughs> the goo man. That reminds me of Resident Evil 7. Those big goo creatures that would come after you. I just came from that way. You know, you might even have to be in one of those chapters to get to those areas. I'm not entirely sure. Shut up. <laughs> oh, there's Goo Man. Who is that? What is that? 
Oh, those like crazy just eyes just staring at you like with no emotion at all. Ugh. Okay. Well, that was cool. I want to see something before we have to actually <laughs> save and quit. We'll do that next time. So we have to find the next chapter and we have a couple ideas of possible secrets we can unlock. I'm guessing, Hasifa, those are all just secret stuff, you know, like just bonus things you can do. Oh, cool. It saved it just when we were here. Perfect. Okay, let's do a let's do a proper save. Not the quick save, but this feels like a more permanent save, you know? So, everybody, how are you still liking this game?